the bad boy Michael Bazin on 98.7 KISS FM in New York City asking the question, why are men on the DL? Why can't men be honest about the fact that they're laying down with other men? Why are you doing it? And more importantly, why are you lying about it? Later on the show, we're going to talk to the ladies, women who have caught their men in the act of fooling around with another man. I don't believe he's gay. Like everybody wants to be on DL. Nobody wants to be actually called gay, bisexual. He was a gay guy, undercover. HIV is running rampant within our community. The down low is not the ultimate cause, you know, of this big crisis. It's a factor within it. I want to know, first of all, what is your opinion or your experience with men on the DL? I was a male on the DL. DL literally means down low. It describes the phenomenon of black and Latino men who have had sex with men and women, yet they don't identify as gay or bisexual. White men are not considered on the DL. When the former New Jersey governor, James McGreevy, made his national announcement that he was gay or came out, he claimed that he was putting down the burden of a lie. DL men don't see the value in coming out. They often see the admission of being homosexual as an additional burden to being black and Latino in a society they believe to be full of racial and ethnic prejudice, not to mention homophobia, especially in their own community. DL is the closet behind the closet. Try and understand, man, what do you say? See, DL was just for them thug brothers, you know what I'm saying, that used to go to the corner and hustle up that money and bring that paper home. Okay. That's me calling in, 33-year-old Andre Malik Rivera. I had sex with men for money. I guess you can say I was a male prostitute. I call myself a hustler. I had girlfriends back then. They didn't know. We hustlers called it on the block, either the DL or down low. These days, the down low has crossed over into the mainstream. 